What up you guys, I'm Mateo and today I have nearly 45,000 gems in anime vanguards and I'm willing to spend every last one in order to finally get the mythic Sasuke. As you guys can probably tell, I have been very busy grinding anime vanguards and just in the last video we finally got our Igris Evolved. And let me tell you, Evolved Igris is absolutely broken. I definitely think this is the number one thing you guys should be working towards in Anime Vanguards because he is just way too good right now. So now we are continuing the trend and going through and getting every single character in the game, which means next up on that list is Sasuke. Besides Sasuke on the banner, as you can see behind me, we also have Vogita as well as Obita. Now, both of those would also be very good and two mythics that we also don't have, which should also make this a very exciting opening now besides just trying to get sasuke we're also going to evolve him in this video i'm not sure what's required for it so hopefully i already have enough but anyways let's get right into getting this sasuke all right you guys as you can see i have the Igris evolved uh aesthetic on it is looking pretty sick I might honestly turn it off just for this video because it takes up so much space, this like red hair thing that's sticking up out of the helmet. So we're gonna go ahead and unequip the aesthetic and just rock this ugly outfit we got. Now, as you guys can see on the banner here, we have Obita, Vogita, and then Sasuke in the middle, which means that Vogita and Obita are both the 20% and then um, Sasuke is the 51%. So we have a much higher chance to get Sasuke from this opening. Let's actually go check out how many of these essences we have okay so we have a ton i think we should be fine to be able to evolve sasuke if we do get him in this video i think the only thing we'll probably have to do is go grind a few legend stages to be able to get all of the items but that is pretty cool. Let's actually go ahead. I don't want to waste too much time with today's video. Once again, I think it's probably a good idea we go ahead and buy at least one of these lucky potions. Again, for today's video, we're just going to go ahead and buy this regular super lucky. I don't think we necessarily need the ultra lucky. So just a super lucky should be fine for this. And let's just begin opening. Honestly, openings do not take very long in this game at all because of how fast you can like skip through opening 10. So let's just keep going and see what we can get. That is crazy. We got 10 blues on a row. Now, another thing that would be really sick if we finally got a shiny mythic. We have not gotten a single shiny mythic yet in this game, so it would be really nice if we could go ahead and do that. And honestly, it would be a very good one to get any of these three in the shiny version. So I would not be complaining about that. We definitely need to be putting to use that shiny Super Hunter Game Pass that we bought because it was quite expensive for not being able to get a single shiny yet. So that is kind of disappointing. Either way, we just need one of these three mythics and I will be happy. So it looks like we are out of unit space. So I guess that means we are full on pretty much just all legendaries and stuff. All right, so I went ahead and sold a bunch of stuff. Let's keep summoning and see if we can get anything good. We have not gotten anything yet, so that's that's never a good sign. But maybe that means the luck is building. We are at 276 on our mythic pity. So we're going to get at least one mythic in this video. I just hope we can at least get Sasuke. I'm honestly not even sure if that's how you pronounce his name. That's kind of just how I'm assuming. Again, I didn't really watch any animes at all, so I'm kind of going into this game blindly. So kindly let me know in the comment section if I do mispronounce any names. I am definitely still learning. I definitely don't know what I'm talking about half the time with these characters. So yeah, not much is really happening so far, but we did get Sasuke. Okay, so not a shiny, unfortunately, but we'll definitely take him. Let's actually go ahead and get a good view of him. Give him a little rotation, see what he looks like. Okay, very nice, very nice. So that is very exciting. Let's actually head over to the evolve section right away and take a look at what we would need to evolve him. So it looks like we just barely have enough essence stones. Maybe I might have to do like one more run in order to get enough. And then we would also have to grind in order to get the snake scales. So let's actually take a look at what you get as a bonus for evolving him. So what you get is a 25% base damage increase, which is really good, as well as that you get a, another move in general, which is called Chidori Strike, and then one new passive. So if we actually click here on the unit passive, we can see what that is. 
So all attack inflicts stun on enemies deals 50% more damage to stunned enemies. So what Sasuke does is stuns the enemies and then his ability also allows him to deal an additional 50% more damage to those enemies that are stunned. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this actually sounds like it's really good. I don't think I have any current stun enemies that are in my lineup, so this might be very good for some of those harder level missions. All right, so the snake scales are here in the sand village in act two. You have a 100% chance to get at least one of them from each run that you do, and we also need these green essences. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and begin this mission, and I'm gonna grind this out until we get those 12 snake scales. So I'll see you guys back here in a second with that all right you guys so i set up a little tiny task and afk this for a little bit so hopefully we have enough of the snake scales after this boss fight right here but yeah you can see that right there was just igris going to work with this aoe look how insane this move is you could pretty much just like one shot every boss because if you guys didn't know on top of that 40 percent damage that it already does to a boss you get an additional 30 percent damage when evolving it so that is super good and that's why it is 100 percent the best unit in the game currently so this time around we got two snake scales so let's go to the lobby and see if we have those 12 scales that we need check the items here and yes okay so we have 14 that is actually perfect let's head over here in it to the evolve category and then let's put sasuke in here and then all we need to do is then craft two of these pink essence stones and then one red so really quickly i will do that let's craft one red and then two pinks super easy now we can go ahead and evolve sasuke here and get that awesome new stun ability we have everything let's go ahead and do it and see what we can get so we get those stat chips every time we evolve a mythic so that's really good another feature they added is that you do keep your lucky potion as long as you are not in the lobby so that is really good so that you don't have to waste it I'm going to go ahead and then unequip all and then equip just Suzuki. Let's see how much it actually takes in order to feed her to get her to level 50. So it only took about 300 of these crystals and we have another 400 left. So we are definitely chilling on food. So let's take our Agris as well as our money unit into the game and let's see how she actually performs. So I'm actually going to take this lineup into the half hourly challenge and see if we can beat it with just this lineup right here. Suzuki is actually a very cheap unit as well. I'm not sure anything else about her. I haven't even used her in game yet so me using her in game right now evolved is the first time ever so we're gonna turn around here in the sand village i'm just gonna go ahead and build up my money and then we're gonna place her and see how she does now off the bat she has a very low range so that is something to keep in mind so we're gonna place one of her back here and see how she does it looks like she does a multi-hit move and right off the bat she has a 1.1k damage a 5.8 spa as well as a 16.6 range so the range itself is really bad but besides that really what we're looking for here is to see how she performs with her stun abilities because we're gonna see if she is a decent stunner so right off the bat you can see she does do a little bit of stun and i'm not sure it doesn't really like stun them for very long so if i go really closely here you could see that when she actually does stun the enemies the stun is like very little and that time it didn't even stun them at all so not too sure about this character just yet all right you guys so we're gonna take Suzuki here in it to one of the paragon levels on namak and see how she performs in sort of a difficult terrain here we're gonna try to use her as a sort of stun character so she should be pretty decent here let's actually equip regen modifier let's do regen again let's actually do thrice because thrice is really good for getting the takedowns Re regen let's do regen again Thrice is probably good. Regen. I definitely think regen is the easiest of them. So I'm definitely picking regen over any other options we get currently. But yeah, let's get going. We are going to have a little bit of a difficult time here, but we should be fine since we do have a evolved Suzuki. So right off the bat, we are going to place our Igris because Igris is going to be doing a monumental amount of damage, which is going to be needed because as you can see, this guy right here has 1.5k health already off the bat, which is pretty insane. So let's go ahead and make sure everything is upgraded. And then off the bat, we are going to place a Suki like right. Uh, let's, let's place her right here because she is going to be a stun unit. So she's going to be very good like right here in order to stun the enemies so that my Igris can take them out. Let's actually, she is very cheap. So let's actually go ahead and place another one of her. 
because we are going to need these stuns in order to slow down these enemies. Now, I'm kind of falling behind here because I forgot there was a lot of thrices that I picked. So there is going to be a monumental amount of units just spawning. Every time I kill one of these, they turn into three more. So that's why it looks like they're kind of getting through. But really, we are still doing a pretty decent job. We just need to get our area of effect units like a Chayin here, who is really good because she can do this like cone shaped attack, which takes out a lot at a time. Now, on top of that, we are going to need Sasuke to speed up the stuns. As you can see, they do get stunned, but they don't get stunned for very long. Now, I'm not sure if that is a glitch or if that is intentional, but to be honest, that doesn't seem very useful at all. If anything, it only slows them down just a tad little bit. But what we're going to go ahead and do here is just keep upgrading one of these and seeing what types of attack she does. See if we can get some sort of attack that is a little bit better and can actually slow down multiple of these units at a time you can definitely tell a difference with Sasuke she's definitely being able to slow down the pack of mobs which is really good especially right here we're going to get access to that new ability that she got which is Chidori strike so let's see how this does against this pack as you guys can see it absolutely shreds and honestly she does a decent amount of damage 8,000 raw damage stat which is really good especially because we did not re-roll her stats at all so if we hover over her, you can see she's only BCC. So I can only imagine if she did have S stat damage, how much damage she would be doing to these units. And then we're going to get the AOE thing for Igris here. And you can see, yeah, this is just easy mode if you do have that AOE move on Igris here. I was kind of just playing around until we actually got the move. But yeah, you can see nothing is going to stand in the way of Igris here. But I do got to say, I really hope that they do improve the stunning ability for Sasuke. I guess it doesn't really need it because she already does 8000 damage, but the stun just isn't really long enough to really justify using her as a stun character. I definitely don't think she is a bad character, however, she's definitely something that could be useful for a lot of people. She definitely helped me in this Paragon level, so either way, I think she was definitely a good pickup. Hopefully, this video gave you a good idea of who Susuke is and how you guys should use her for your build. I think we pretty much covered enough in this video, so I'm just going to end the video right here. Again, thank you guys so much for the support on these videos. It's been absolutely insane. Remember to subscribe for more helpful anime vanguards videos. Hope to see you guys in the next one and peace out.